Hey Aquarius, what's going on? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope y'all doing well. I'm coming to you with your general love reading for November. We're going to see what's happening for you guys in love. This is general, won't resonate with every Aquarius out there. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. Also, if you want a private love reading, link is in the description box. It's $35 for a love reading. Um, Vimeo has your bonus, okay, reading up. It's how did your partner feel about you? Dig deeper into your person's energy, okay? Um, so we're going to get into your reading. I have a different layout for you guys. I'm going to pull four oracle cards, and then I'm going to pretty much clarify them all, okay? This is going to little. It's gonna be a little different than what I usually do, but if you guys like this layout, you like this kind of tarot spread, let me know. Um, trying to keep things fresh, all right? All right, let's see. Aquarius, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Aquarius need to know about their love life? Whoever they're dealing with. This is gonna kind of be focused on your person's energy, okay? I hope you guys don't mind whoever you're connecting with. As much messages as we can. Aquarius, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What message do we have? Let's get two more cards for Aquarius. Oh, okay. Got one card that flew out. Last but not least. Okay. We have cycles. <laughs> so you are dealing with someone that you've gone through a lot of cycles with, okay? I'm getting like over and over and over. You're repeating a cycle, okay? Your person's repeating a cycle. Some of you guys are stuck in a cycle with someone and you can't seem to get out of it, okay, Aquarius? That's what I'm seeing. We got procrastination, okay? So some of you guys, this person's procrastinating on taking some kind of action towards you, okay? Uh, maybe reaching out to you. Okay, straight procrastination. So if you have not heard from your person, Aquarius, well, that's what's going on, right? They're thinking, oh, I'm going to call, I'm going to call, I'm going to make it up, I'm going to say sorry, but they never do it, okay? We also got patience and whole in the soul, okay? So whoever you're dealing with, um, someone is feeling a void, okay? The hole in the soul, I'm getting someone is feeling like your absence, okay? Someone is feeling hurt. Okay, and I feel like they didn't know they would experience this pain until they actually went through it. Okay, so someone may have been emotionally void. Okay, I'm getting someone wasn't ready to really express and open up to you, Aquarius. And it's like now that you've moved on or now that they have have caused a separation, now someone is feeling like literally there's a hole in their heart. Okay, this is someone who's really struggling with this breakup. Or with the separation or being away from you or holding back some vital information. Because there's something here that's causing this to repeat over and over and over. And I feel like it's because your person is holding back on doing something. Okay? Or they haven't taken the action towards you like they should have. Okay? So let's see. We also have patience. Okay? So there's a need for patience, right? Divine timing is at work perhaps, right? We're going through all these damn cycles. But patience, temperance. Sagittarian energy here, okay? So we got the number six, we got the number eight, 36, and 23. They may be very significant to the person that you're dealing with, okay? All right, let's start off with cycles. Let's start with the cycles card. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we need to know? For those of you guys who are interested, this... Oracle deck is called the Heal Yourself Reading Cards, okay? If y'all want to know. All right, cycles. Why is this? Oh, okay. So, <laughs> Aquarius, you guys have been going through an endless cycle with someone until y'all decided to give up. The Nine of Wands in verse, you guys, literally, it was a long journey. You, you dealt with this person for either many years or... Even if it was for a few years, there was a lot of ups and downs. It was very, very difficult. Because I see that the nine of wands in verse, you guys gave up on this person. Okay? You guys decided, you know what? I'm not going to continue going through this with this person. I've gone through too many damn cycles. Too many past lives with this person. This person ain't learning a lesson. So some of you guys are dealing with someone that you had to give up on. Like, you guys pulled the plug. Because something got too damn difficult. Okay? With that nine of wands, you were fighting for this connection. 
Like you gave it your all. You made so many sacrifices for this person. And I feel like your person is so damn hard headed or they weren't learning a lesson. And so you kept repeating a cycle over and over. We have another card that flew out. We got the King of Wands coming out. Leo, Sag, Aries, okay? Some of you guys were dealing with someone who liked attention, okay? They were very passionate about you, but you know what the queen, the King of Wands, King of Wands just likes attention. They like to be free, okay? I'm not, no offense to fire signs, okay? But this person was passion driven, right? They were all about the chemistry, the sex, the passion, the lust, the desire, right? And I feel like you guys wanted more. This person also could have been, you know, like just interested in other people. Like they were flirty, okay? They feel, I feel like they they gave you attention, but not enough. Or they gave other people more attention, okay? And I feel like you guys felt like you had to fight for this person. You guys were like in competition with other people. Yeah, the two of wands. Your person, your person may have had other options in love, or at least one other person. Some of you guys, this person made the wrong decision. Okay, you see all these damn wands here. I can't take it. This is someone very strong fire sign here. Okay, it could be a fire sign you're dealing with, but ultimately, I see that you decided you can't move forward with this person because there was no forward movement. I feel like you you were moving in the wrong direction, or this person was moving in a direction that was not in the way that you wanted things to go. Okay, like maybe you guys were looking for something more solid, like commitment. You may have been fighting for that, but this person wasn't taking that action. They were taking other kinds of action is what I'm seeing, but it wasn't in the right direction. So the two of wands in verse, I feel like you guys, things got stuck or things were not moving forward in, in the way that you wanted things to move. So you kept going back. You kept repeating something over and over. So let's see. Why is the procrastination card here? Knight of Wands. See, your person is procrastinating on taking action towards you. The Knight of Wands is all about action. It's about movement, right? And your person may want to come towards you and take some action, but they're procrastinating. Ooh. Seven of Cups. See, your person has options. Page of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Your person wants to tell you some good news. They want to... See, this is either good news or communication, or this person wants to kind of like, you know, start something up and running again. Okay, again, we got the page of wands we got the knight of wands and the king of wands okay so some of you guys are definitely dealing with an air sign a fire sign i'm sorry a fire sign or this person is wanting to communicate with you to get something back up and running but i feel like the problem is this person is procrastinating because they're dealing with all different kinds of people they have other people in your energy or love interest okay and this person is procrastinating on getting it done because there's too much confusion if you have all these options in love of course you're going to procrastinate What's what's the what's the urgency here, right? So the person has to eliminate some of their options in love in order for them to take real action towards you, okay? But what I'm seeing is that as soon as you pulled back, Aquarius, as soon as you decided, you know what, I'm gonna leave this situation alone, okay? This person feels this hole in, in their heart. This is someone who now misses you, right? That five of pentacles energy. They're feeling the absence. They're feeling like, Oh my gosh, I've lost my person, right? So why is the hole in the soul here? Number 36, why is the hole in the soul? Ooh, okay. Ooh, see, ooh, mm-hmm. They got the 10 of swords and the six of swords in reverse. So this is someone who's going through a very difficult time with this breakup, okay? I feel like you're dealing with someone who never thought that they would feel this way after this ending, okay? When you pulled back your energy, Aquarius, you taught this person an invaluable lesson, okay? First off, you broke the cycle. You broke the cycle, right? You you took back your power because this person had too much damn power. Whether the damn Page of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the King of Wands, they had too much damn power over you. And the Ten of Swords, you guys have decided, you know what? Pull, I'm going to pull the cord, I'm going to cut this crap, and you have left this person feeling betrayed. You felt, they felt betrayed by you. They were devastated. They didn't see this ending. Intends are about endings, and you guys made it clear that you were ending this connection, or someone ended it, because someone was not tolerating this kind of behavior anymore, okay? And so your person's having a difficult time. Oops, cards are flying all over the place. Your person's having a difficult time on letting this go. Okay, so whatever it is, if you ended it or they ended it, doesn't matter. The Ten of Swords is here. They're still having a difficult time with this ending. They're having a difficult time knowing that this was really final, like this really happened. Okay, and they feel betrayed. If they even did it, they feel betrayed by themselves. 
Regardless, your person is feeling feeling lifeless. They're feeling like they've lost a piece of them. They've lost you. Okay? And they're very conflicted. You see all these swords here? You definitely could be dealing with an air sign. Okay? You're dealing with another air sign here. But this is someone who's having a difficult time. They're all up in their head. A lot of mental conflict and feeling tied up and, and stuck. Yeah, of this ending. See? The Ten of Pentacles. Okay? It could have been a breakup. It could have been a divorce. Okay? But ultimately, this is someone who's lost their stability because I feel like even though this person may have not been ready for commitment or they may have been non-committal or disloyal to you, unfaithful, this is someone who feels like they've lost their their person. Their, their life is in shambles now, but right with the Ten of Swords without you. Because you did bring stability to this person's life. And now they don't have it. So now they're feeling a hole in their soul. A hole in their damn world. All right? Now let's see what the patience card is about. Why is the patience here? Ooh. Ooh, okay. We got the star in reverse. The page of pentacles. And the ace of pentacles. Well, god damn, I'm Aquarius. So you're dealing with someone who... Well, first off, they need some damn healing, okay? The star in reverse. There's healing, but they ain't there yet, Okay? This person, Aquarius, this is your energy. I feel like you guys, this is meant to be, right? This is divine timing. You guys needed the separation to get your th get get yourself together. Get your life together. More, more so this person, right? So you guys are going to have to be patient with this process. You're going to have to be patient at knowing that this time apart is very much necessary, okay? The star in the verse is telling me that your person, they definitely need to work on themselves, okay? Um, and I feel like this is, again... This is a lack of healing or healing that they've been avoiding for so long, right? That's why cycles have been going over and over and over. Now, be patient because what's coming is not just communication, but a very, very solid, stable offer, okay? The Ace of Pentacles, this is a commitment. This is a full-blown relationship. This is um, long-term stability, security, okay? This is someone who's going to... I feel like they're going to overcome something and they're going to finally see that you were someone that they really needed in their life, right? You are their stability. You are someone that they really wanted to commit to. You are their life support. You are their person. You're someone that they actually see as, you know, they see someone, they see you as someone that they can marry, right? Have a very stable life with, comfortable lifestyle, home, a family, okay? So that's what that's about. The Page of Pentacles is an offer coming in within a message, a text message, a phone call. But ultimately, this is someone who wants to offer you this, okay? The Ace of Pentacles, a new brand spanking relationship, okay? Or a commitment, all right? Um, and also, it be a lump sum of money. I'll take it. <laughs> all right, Aquarius, let me know if this hits home, it resonates. Um... Oh, you know what? I'm going to get some additional messages for you guys from your person's higher self. Um, if you guys aren't communicating, more than likely you guys aren't, right? What would this person say to you or what would they want to say to you if they could? This is from Soulmates and Separation Unspoken Love Messages. If you guys are interested, this is on my Etsy shop, okay? Let's see. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What would this person say if they could? What would this person say from their higher self? If y'all like this um spread, I made it up. Let me know if y'all like it. I'm trying something new again. I just wanted to say that again, okay? Leave it in the message. Leave it in the comments section if y'all um if y'all like this spread or if y'all just want to go back to the old boring one. No, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I'm just trying something new. I'm really open. Um, Yeah, just feedback. So we have, I made so many mistakes. I made so many bad mistakes. Mm -hmm. I hope we can have a do-over. So this is someone who's realizing that, yeah, in the past... Pfft, they they made mistakes over and over and over. And that's what kept this going, this cycle with playing over and over and over, right? They couldn't seem to break the damn cycle because they kept making the same mistakes over and over and over. So they want a do-over, right? And maybe they won't make the same mistake again. All right, let's see. <laughs> um, every thought is you. You occupy my mind. I can't even escape you even if I tried. So yeah, the hole in the soul, this person is feeling your absence. They can't escape you. You occupy their mind. Every every time they're like every time there's like downtime or quietness, they're thinking of you. They're thinking of you. Every thought is of you, Aquarius. All right. Let's see. Any other messages from Aquarius partner? You just would not understand what I'm going through. Most days I don't even understand. So this person don't even understand themselves. How the hell are you supposed to, right? 
I must admit that I'm longing for your touch and warm embrace. Again, hole in the soul. This person is like, they want to come towards you with communication. They want to take action. They miss you. This person is very passionate. Just so y'all know, I'm getting this is someone who really likes a lot of stimulation, a lot of physical contact. Um, this is someone who likes to be around you. Like I'm getting a lot of touch, caressing, passion, okay? Because this person is missing your touch and warm embrace. This is a very sexual person y'all dealing with, okay? I'm, I'm just saying, y'all may be dealing with a Scorpio because they're freaks. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. I have a lot of Scorpion friends. I don't take it personal. Nobody is like you. You are exceptional. You are special. Yeah, Aquarius. Y'all already know that. Y'all the damn star, right? Aquarius, y'all the star, Nobody is like you. You guys are special to them. Y'all exceptional. All right. Aquarius, let me know if y'all resonate with this. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I appreciate y'all all. Have a wonderful holiday. Take care and stay safe.